Hi friends, welcome back. We are reviewing a new beauty brand to Sephora. This is Colfi Beauty. And in case you didn't know, it is a South Asian beauty brand. It's a woman founded, woman owned, small business, and they just launched in Sephora as well as Sephora in stores. Now I picked up three of their products to a review and I'll give you the lowdown on the price, quality, and all of that good stuff. So definitely stay tuned if you've been curious about the brand or just wanna see what's new at Sephora. In case you didn't know, Kulfi is actually a type of South Asian ice cream. So I really loved that that was like a fun way to come up with a brand name. The branding is so nice. It's kind of got like a little pop of color with like the lavender and then like the color blocking here. So I'm all for it. And I'm just really excited to show you everything that I picked up, so. All right, so my base is done. I applied some of the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Grow Land Light 3, as well as the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 125 Light Natural. That's all I have on because I wanna talk about the main stars of the show. Three products I picked up from Colfi Beauty. I have been following this brand actually since before they launched at Sephora, so I was super excited when they finally launched. Let's start off with the blush. So this is their Mendy Moment Blush. It is a cream blush. So I picked up the shade Sandalwood Swirls, and it's a pretty chunky uh, blush and everything. So what I like to do is apply it to the back of my hand just a tiny bit. You don't need much at all. And then I'll blend it out with a nice fluffy brush. I kind of like this one, it's a little bit more dense. But that's kind of what it looks like blended out. And then let me just apply it. So you can see beautiful shade. And you could easily use this on your eyes and do like a full monochromatic look, but because I have an eyeshadow product that I do want to test, I'm not going to do that today. All right, so I just want to give you a couple of facts, facts about the Mendy Moment Blush. Again, this is the shade Sandalwood Swirls. There's five shades total. This one is described as a neutral mauve, and I really liked the kind of rich tones to it. I thought it'd be perfect for late summer, fall, winter. These are $28. They're just beautiful. And I also love that they're so mess-free when you travel with them because they're such like a, like a thicker consistency. But then as you can see, the pigment is just beautiful. This is honestly my new favorite cream blush. I can't say enough good things about this. So the next product is this beautiful cream eyeshadow and I have the shade Satara Sparkles. Look at that. It's so pretty. The best way to apply it and I got this from their Instagram. You apply it with your fingers first and then you blend it out with a blending brush. So let's just go in. That was just me lightly applying it but this one is just beautiful. It's just a beautiful one and done shadow. You swipe it onto your eyelids and you're good to go. Do you see how beautiful that is? And because it's kind of like a nice rosy coppery shade, that's this, like that's just my dream eyeshadow shade. You could just leave it like this. You don't even really need to blend it out. I just went ahead and took a really nice fluffy brush and just blended it out, but it's so perfect, right? You just apply it with your fingers, you're one and you're done. It's so beautiful. Let me tell you a little bit more about this. So this is their Zari Eyes Long Lasting Crease Proof Cream Shadow. They are $30 and it comes in six different shades. Again, this is the one that I picked up and it's Sitara Sparkles. It's described as a rose gold with silver flecks and truly it is the prettiest shade. And I just love the little pot that it comes into. Again, mess-free, just a perfect application. Just apply with your finger. Maybe blend it out with a big fluffy blending brush if you so choose. The eyes are done. I just add a little bit of mascara to my tops and bottom lashes. Next, the final Colfi product that I picked up is their lipstick. I'm sorry if I butchered this. This is in the shade Gazelle or Gazelle Glow. This is the creamiest lipstick formula, honestly, that I've used in a very long time. It's stunning. They have so many different shades of nude that you're pretty much bound to find your correct one, but I'll show you this one. I just have some clear Summer Fries Lip Butter Balm on, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. Also, none of these products have like any scent or fragrance to them, which is really, really nice. Just 
just one swipe it glides on like butter that's definitely more of like a pinky i think nude which you know i definitely vibe with a pink nude so don't get me wrong so let's talk about the lipstick some more this is their heirloom satin lipstick they are 30 dollars, same as the eyeshadow they come in seven different shades the one that i have is considered a pink neutral which i definitely agree Honestly, I kind of want to pick up Rosewood. I kind of want to pick up that one. That one more is more of a Rosewood neutral. And I think it might be just a pinch less pink. And that might be the more of like what I'm going for. But again, beautiful formulation. $30, yeah, it's kind of a lot for lipstick. But I'm willing to pay a little bit more for a high quality like lipstick. Again, with seven different like neutral pink shades. I'm sure you can find one that matches you and your skin tone. But yeah, this is the finished look using all Coffee Beauty products. It's really hard for me to narrow down a favorite because I'm truly torn between the cream blush and the Zari Eyes eyeshadow. Honestly, maybe the blush. If you only want to pick up one thing from Colfi, definitely pick up their Mendy Moment blush just because it is such a beautiful mess-free like perfect product like i said you can use it on your blush you can use it on your eyelids you could probably even use it on your lips just because like the shades are so flattering i just love it it's a perfect travel size like i said just blend it out on the back of your hand you don't need a lot so it'll last you a really long time and for 28 dollars, this is just gonna last you so long so i do really think that it's worth it as far as the eyeshadows go 30 dollars. it's so hard for me to find a really good one and done eyeshadow because i'm not someone who likes to take an eyeshadow palette when they travel or all that jazz the fact that i could just reach for this one pot cream shadow in that it's really the most perfect rose sparkle shade that I could ask for. $30, yes. I would definitely pick up more shades, but probably not right now just because Sitara Sparkles is such my ideal shade. That's like perfect. I don't really need another shade, but the blush, I would definitely pick up more shades of the blush. The heirloom lipstick, I'm a little bit torn if I'm going to keep this shade, Gazelle Glow, just because I feel like Rosewood would suit me just a little bit more. Like this one is just pulling just a tiny bit too light of a pink for my liking. But again, the formula, you can't beat it. I really hope you enjoyed my review of Colfi Beauty. It's a brand that I've been eyeing for so long and I'm so proud to see a South Asian beauty brand sold at Sephora. They are also in stores at Sephora. Some of these products I noticed, at least for the lipstick shade that I chose, some of them are online exclusives. So definitely just check it out and then see which ones, which shades that your local Sephora has. I bought mine all online and I've been using them for a while. So, all right, please let me know what beauty brand you want me to review next. I have a few more in the works, so I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you so much for watching my review of Coffee Beauty and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.